Pisces, how are you? If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle, and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will, and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that the roles can be in between you and your person. And with that said, let's take a quick look at what the universe has for you, okay? So, hello, hello. I can't believe it's the end of October already. Isaac, no. My son is just right there. So let's take a quick look. What's going on between you and your person, that person in your mind. And, you know, let's dive in. Let's dive in. Again, these are general readings. This is not a personal. So not everything is going to resonate with everybody. So please keep that in mind. That is not just one energy. It's multiple energies here. So you take whatever does resonate. If it doesn't, you can always let it go. It's not mandatory to claim it. So please use your free will for that. <laughs> and uh, let's get to it let's see for pisces so we got wisdom here we have the enchantment intuition let's see forgiveness hold on I'm back uh forgiveness serenity and trust at the bottom right here cleansing and liberation so i feel either or you or your person is working on self-care they're working on some shadow work i feel there is um a very big silence here between you and your person let's either or little to no communication here um again once again your person is dealing or working on setting themselves free from a person or and or situation like i said before once again your person is going through transformation through like cleansing through like fuck like i was gonna say some about word but i stopped myself um finding balance a uh, wisdom and enchantment right here i feel like you and your person this could be you this could be your person this could be a cross watcher you take it the best way it resonates for you um this person finds you very very attractive pisces this person finds you like unique and like like i said unique and different and also this could be uh an older energy as well uh, they find you very mature. Uh, they find you very interesting. They find you like, it's like they see more than what people see on the outside because, okay, people might find you very attractive, but this person is not only attracted to you because of your looks, but also because of who you are and or personality. If you guys have some sort of conversations or if you guys have this person in social media or not, whatever it is that you say or you post, they find it very interesting. It's like this person is more interested in like getting to know you. Again, not only because of your looks, oh my hair there, not only because of your looks, but for who you are. And if you tell me that this person does not know anything about you, so disregard this part, you know? You are a grown person, you know what to take or what does not take, okay? So, going back to here, forgive, I'm oh, sorry, the intuition here. I feel like this person and you have been having some sort of dreams that are kind of weird, meaning that you might have had dreams about this person. This person is also having the same kind of dreams because you guys are pretty much talking to each other, reaching out to each other through dreams okay um again you guys are very very connected on the energetic um side you guys are definitely very connected energetically with the forgiveness and the serenity serenity right here i feel like somebody is either or um wanting to get your forgiveness or the other way around can be like they're waiting for you to ask for like forgiveness like an apology again don't get very upset about it like this could be either or but this silence right here has been working on this connection of yours with this person about somehow finding forgiveness or this person or you asking for forgiveness because once again there's something that has happened that caused this person to feel hurt and they want you to apologize and like i said before we are talking about your energies in there so this could be the other way around as well trust pretty much they want you to trust the process they understand that it's very very hard when you have no communication it is very hard when you keep seeing readings and saying like hey this and that you got to understand that not every reading is for you first of all and second of all just take the best part it resonates because everything happens for a reason as cliche as that sounds that happens and again everything will work at the end pretty much telling you that you need to trust the process okay it's not for you to judge it it's not for you to qualify or give it a rating it's pretty much for you to understand that everything's gonna work on 
for the best at the end of the day because again your person is decluttering decluttering uh, their energies in or space how does Pisces person feels towards Pisces right now communion gratitude hope so your person has not lost any hope on this connection this person is actually talking about you with friends or asking for advice the best advice because again this person has a lot of hope because at the end of the day for some reason this person feels thankful that you show up in their life because you were either or a lesson or you taught them something in their life they feel very grateful for your energies they feel very grateful for you know for your presence or for the time that you guys shared but at the same time this person has not lost hope in this connection they have not lost hope on reconnecting with you and they're talking about you with friends and family perhaps asking for the best advice like i said before cleansing right here um also this person is actually trying like i said before to clean and declutter their surroundings because they want to be ready for for you they want to be ready for like coming forward perhaps but this person like i said before is trying to find some sort of balance in their life because for some reason they felt they needed that before getting back to you beginnings like i said before look at that it is not the end this person wants a new beginning with you they want a different chance a second chance but like i said before i feel like this is going to be very very different because this person has been working a lot on cleansing perhaps letting go of that toxicity perhaps finding that balance in that i don't know that that center that they were missing in the past evolution right here like i said before this connection if you give it a chance this person and you could have a different different chance again also this person and you have uh have like evolved in your own ways differently this person if they are spying on you on social media or so they have been seeing how much you have grown and how much you changed enchantment okay enchantment also it could be like a spell, but it's not like they put a spell on you or that you put a spell on them. It's pretty much that you guys are pretty much hypnotized by each other. You guys have this connection. It's like unique. It's out of this world. This person and you are extremely, extremely connected. And this person is enchanted by you. Like they cannot stop thinking about you. I know that they have trying to let you go, but they just can't because it's like something about you that they just love that they just can't just let go or find elsewhere mercy here so it's pretty much telling you that this person it's not like they feel bad for you but this person is very very um compassionate about people and let's say that you did something to them or so they actually are not mad at you um also this person is trying to forgive somebody like i said before forgive somebody in their life that has done them wrong as well so your person is trying to like pretty much like i said before go in a huge direction when it comes to forgiveness and moving on and moving forward from toxicity or past people and they just want to come forward towards you with no strings attached you know balance this could be, I don't know why I want to say Libra energy. I'm going to check with my other cards, but I see Libra energy right here. Like I said before, your person is trying to find balance. Also, they find that you have found some sort of balance as well. Uh, perhaps in the past, they thought that you were all over the place. Perhaps uh, in the past, they felt like you had no tunnel vision or whatever the situation in my head happened they feel like you have found some sort of balance too and your person has too so that's why i feel like this connection is going to be totally different inspiration right here like i said before uh i feel like your person is inspired by you or was inspired by you in so many ways like i said before this person is very grateful because i don't know what you did to them but you changed them in a better way they actually found themselves when they found you in a way before I keep continuing, let's see what signs. What kind of zodiac? What are the zodiac signs that Pisces is dealing with? Let's see. My fingers are so dry. Is the winter sign or fall? Will you stick this? I know, puppy. You fell. 
We got, we got Justice, which is Libra energy. You might be dealing with a Libra, Nine of Swords. This is also an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius right here. Mm -hmm. No, Papi, don't, don't. We also have the Five of Wands. This could be Leo, Sagittarius, perhaps Aries energy as well. And we got the Four of Pentacles as well as an Earth sign. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, maybe Capricorn, but it's going to be a very tiny uh, portion of you who is dealing with a Capricorn. And the King of Cups, you could also be dealing with a different sign, a different water sign such as yourself or a Cancer. That's what I heard. So those are the possible sort of signs that you might be dealing with. Now I'm going to continue with this Oracle deck. Hold on, my child. I'm back. So let's take a look. Love and dreams. Oh my goodness. Like I said before, you guys are reaching out to each other by dreams. And if you haven't, just keep in mind that you might have very significant dreams, Pisces, about this person. And it's because this person is also manifesting you. This person still wants you. I know you have heard this many times in tarot readings, but what do you want me to do if that's what it shows up? Okay. So what are the blockages on this connection? Thank you, Spirit. Submitation, intention, security at the bottom here. Freedom. And sorry, one not one second. Planet cycles, planetary cycles. So it's like it is first of all it is a process okay that's the problem in this connection it is a process and i know waiting is the worst waiting game is the worst thing ever but your person in you and or this connection is going through its own um process um you gotta keep in mind that planets on the zodiac signs they do they do actually make a change or they do make a significant i don't know significant i forgot the word significant let me think significant significant i forgot the word oh my god <laughs> hold on let me see if i can remember the word i remember significant influence on you know on your person's character on your person's decision and if you don't believe in astrology then you don't believe in tarot readings, you know, like that is that goes by the hand. But that is the thing so, um, about the, the planets uh, affecting your zodiac sign or your persons. That is the thing. It's like an it's like an influence down there. But also, I feel like it's a process. I see it's a process um, here. There's a lot of t uh, karma here and intention right here. Your person and you have a lot of karma with each other. And I feel like they actually struggle with coming forward or telling you anything because of what had happened in the past in between you two. Uh, let's say that they did try it or let's say that they lied to you or something. They actually are holding that back to like that. That situation is holding them back from coming forward, from telling you how they really feel. Um, again, is the past here is the doubt is being scared is being um, thinking that you don't want them. It's pretty much is overthinking as well. And they do have a lot of intention of coming forward, but it stays there. They don't do anything because they're afraid of rejection. They're afraid that you don't want them anymore. Security right here, like I said before. Uh, let's say that your person is not single or your person has tried to move forward. Um, it's like they, they know that the person that they're with is not their person, but they have a sense of security because they feel that you might not come back or they feel that you might not want them or they feel that you're not somebody that they can trust or it could be like a on and off situation because it depends on when you guys met perhaps you guys were very young perhaps you guys were not on the right mindset you know when you guys met things were in the way and again you guys met um when when i say you meet the right person at the wrong time that's what happened between you two in the beginning and that is what they're holding holding this person back thinking that what if i talk to pisces and we go back and i let go of what i have and we go back to the inconsistency we go back to what happened in the past so it's like they don't want to let go what they have because it's a, some certain sense of security that they have in or feel how do they really feel towards pisces what are their feelings towards pisces thank you spirit gratitude okay courage hold on transmutation and planetary circles you want water 
<coughs> there you go. Put that thing there. So, okay. At the bottom here, we got retreat and faith and romance. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, first of all, your person has actually, they know that you are their one. Okay. They know that no matter how far you guys are from each other, no matter how much you guys don't talk, no matter how much you guys argue with each other, they know that you are their person. You are their home. You are their sanctuary. You know, uh, they have still a lot of faith for you too. They actually hope to reconcile with you. Like I said before, they do love you. They still have feelings for you. They just have tried to retreat because they feel like they need a space or if you told them or they felt that you wanted space, that's what they're trying to give you. But but even though they're trying to give you that, they still love you. They still want something with you. I am present right here. Like I said before, their energies has not left your energies. If you want to let go, if you want them to be gone, um, it's up to you. But if you still want them, their energies have not been able to let you go. Friendship and gratitude right here. Even though that maybe, let's say that you don't want a relationship with them no more, they're willing to take a friendship. Um, they're gonna be. They're actually grateful to have you in any way, shape, or form in their life. Um, like I said before, this person and you have grown so much that things are a little bit different. So like I said before, they do want you romantically. But if you were to say no, if you were to say that you don't want this, uh, they actually are okay with having just a friendship with you. Because like I said before, it's like they don't want you out of their life completely uh we got the courage and the transmutation and the planet's cycles um they know that no matter how much they tried that you are in their energies again you guys have been together in different lifetimes i feel like you guys are like you have you guys have a contract and if you go like i don't want it honey you're not five you know how this works right so um once again, you have a contract and you guys are going to be always in a way in each other's life. If it's not in the 3D, you know, it could be energetically. So again, that's why they will like some sort of communication. That's why they will like some sort of friendship just to not have just the energetic energetic uh, connection they want a little bit on 3d but like i said before if you don't want a romantic relationship they're willing to have a friendship but like i said before they do have feelings for you they do understand this connection they do understand that you could be a soulmate you are somebody very very special for them and they for sure do not want to lose that so once again they would like to have you in their life in any way shape or form so that's that so evolution yeah and this is a confirmation you guys have been together in different lifetimes so this person ain't living leaving your 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 energies i'm so sorry to tell you that i mean and if you tell me you can do this you can do that then why you haven't done it because you want them back in a way if you want somebody out of your life and you understand what's going on there's many many things that you could do to let them go you actually could do the candle spell for cutting the cord and da, 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 da. but if you don't have you haven't done it completely it's because you clearly do not want them out of your life completely or you don't know if you really do so again there's no need to prove me on anything like i said before my cards don't lie and i'm a witch so it's very hard to <laughs> gaslight a witch you know so again if it's not for you just click to the x and go to a different reading with a different tarot reader but here i am giving you the truth if you don't want the truth and you want fake go elsewhere but i will never tell you a lie because that's not me so like i told my my clients my tarot readings are not for you for your fulfillment it's for you to know what's going on like tarot readings if you're not ready for the truth do not ask for them do not look for them because they're not going to tell you what you want to hear but what you need to hear okay so that is one of the things about getting tarot readers or tarot readings if you're not ready for the truth do not ask for them because you're gonna get mad at the tarot reader and all that and they have no part of your situation because we're just doing our job okay so this is just me telling you a little bit but going back to the reading which is what you guys want um okay let's see um is it worth waiting for them i am presence yeah i think it's worth waiting for them surrender <laughs> grace so yes it is definitely worth waiting for them because it's pretty much telling you that it's worth worth the wait 
worth the wait you guys are gonna have a good outcome regardless if it's like together or as a friends you guys will have pretty much some sort of like closure on this multi situation that you guys have been going on with this person back and forth with this un inconsistent energy here but once again it's gonna be worth waiting for and whatever it is that you're gonna get from this is gonna be very very good for you and this person but it's telling you right now that to surrender to divine time and when people ask me about dates I respect God and the divine energy slash time and i do not go against it so again we got to respect okay there's higher energies involved in here thank you spirit so what is the outcome in between pisces and this person please and thank you what is a pisces outcome with this person please and thank you patience is building okay is going surrender Again, you need to be patient and respect and go with divine timing, okay? We have retreat. <laughs> let me see. Let me one second. Let me see. Freedom. So pretty much is to retreat. Pretty much enjoy the time of solitude because it is not the end. It's for your own good. It is not for destroying you. It's to rebuild you. Freedom right here. Just let go of control. Let go of this anger. Let's go. Let go of this frustration. Let go of that and let the universe do its own thing. The universe has been here for so long that they know what they're doing. Spirits have been here for so long that they know what they're doing. Mercy abundance right here pretty much is telling you that to have forgiveness um when this person comes around because i feel this person is coming around we know that okay we know that 100 percent uh to have forgiveness to forgive this person um to forgive what has going on or what had happened in the past between them and whenever you do that you will have abundance which is everything you have ever wanted in life it could be romantically wise it could be just in life in general it's gonna come to you the way you want it but with forgiveness you gain if you forgive whatever has happened even if you tell me they don't deserve it even if you tell me that it's very hard for you i'm not telling you to do it asap of course uh forgiveness is like healing process it takes it it takes its time but if you have an open mind to forgive you understand that forgiveness is not only for their energies but yours um again being better is only is only making your life difficult it only affects you and does not affect it does not affect anybody besides yourself that's why you will gain more if you learn to forgive and the last one is friendship right here i feel like you guys are going to reconnect perhaps it's going to start as a friendship perhaps perhaps it's going to be more be why am i saying this because in the past you guys could have just go because you guys met each other and you guys were so attracted to each other things went all over the place like a roller coaster and you guys maybe had skipped some very important steps but now that you guys are grown you guys actually have more in like more wisdom in you i feel like you guys are going to start with this friendship of like getting to know each other and going from there you know in balance right here look at this balance libra energy once again everything's gonna make sense you guys are gonna do things correctly you guys are gonna do things how it should be you guys are not gonna skip any steps it's gonna start as a friendship and then it's gonna go to a romantic level if you guys allow it because we do look at this also i was saying romance right here is going to start as a romantic level like getting to know each other having conversations like interesting conversations perhaps heart to heart conversations and it's going to grow to a romantic interest or romantic um situation and at the bottom of the deck it says faith is pretty much saying that it's not the end you got to have faith and you got to believe of course manifesting goes with faith and all of that if you don't have none of that it's going to be very hard for you to get what you want okay and let me see before i go let me give you a card here for an advice let's see what i can give you here let's see they told me to get you another one please and thank you spirit another one please and thank you my fingers are so dry so we got moon goddess that's your energy here pisces we have integration right here so we got number 41 and 44. Those are important numbers for you, or there will be. So here, the moon goddess says, I am harmonious, harmonious flow with the moon's energy and all phases of life. And then we got this card right here, and it tells you, I combine body, mind, and soul to lift all of humanity into a new dimension. Integration and moon goddess. This is pretty much the two messages you got from the spirit guides. So again, thank you so very much for your time. This is the end of your reading. Please keep in mind that I'll be back soon in this week or so. Again, Thank you so very much. Like and subscribe and I'll be back soon. Like. Bye.